So I'm here at Amico Lola Falls, which is the starting point for the Appalachian Trail. Um, the southern terminus is actually at Springer Mountain, which is eight and a half miles north of here. So you got to hike from here eight and a half miles to get to mile zero on the trail, which is kind of crazy. But Amico Lola Falls here is a state park in Georgia, and this is where you actually register for your Appalachian Trail hike. I registered this desk here. That's my little AT tag on my bag right there. They just gave me this tag. I'm number 2197, I think, because the 2197th person to register. In the logbook, as you can see, and uh, I tipped the scales my pack with two liters of water at 26.1 pounds. And this lady is the ranger here who gave us a little safety tour, safety uh, lecture. Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Happy journeys. <laughs> I'll see you in a couple days, probably. You going all the way up? Um, halfway up. Well, I mean, that's oh, I'm going all the way up the falls, yeah. And this is the park visitor center here at Amicalola Falls. And right behind this, as you're going to see in a second, is the stone arch where the actually uh, trail the starts. Stone arch. This is actually the very start of the trailhead. And as you can see, Springer Mountain is eight and a half miles. That's considered mile zero. And Mount Katahdin, which is the northern terminus of the trail is 2191 miles north of here. Oops. There's a lot of these steps going up from Mikalola Falls. Got these steel stairs here like a fire escape. But the view is excellent. Pretty awesome cascading falls. You get to hike alongside of it for quite a ways. There's a view going up. And looking down. Pretty too. We are at the top of the falls looking down. Quite a view of the top of the falls here. Some of the little view of the stream. A little bridge here I'm standing on. I'm about a mile and a half into the the day so far. Reach the top of the falls and continuing on basically through the forest on the approach trail. Well, I'm five miles in from the Amicalola trailhead, and this says it's three and a half more miles to Springer Mountain. And I'm planning to get about, I think, two and a half miles beyond Springer Mountain today, so I got quite a ways to go still. And it's late in the afternoon, it's already like 4.45. Um, so I'm following these blue blazes, they call blue blazes, that's the, the um, approach trail. It's marked with blue blazes. First eight and a half mile approach trail. So just keep an eye on, along the trail for these little blue rectangles painted on the trees. And follow those. Um, anyway, I'm probably going to get into camp a little bit late-ish, like around 7.30. My first day, because I got such a late start today. Um, but I still want to make my goal for the day. So, which is about like 12 and a half to 13 miles. So I made it up to Springer Mountain. This little plaque here says we're at an elevation of 3782. This is the official southern terminus. 
for the Appalachian Trail. There's actually a neat view up here. It's partially blocked by trees, but um, yeah, you can see quite a ways. A little bit hazy out there today, but. This is Springer Mountain. So I've done so far about eight and a half miles to get to Springer Mountain on the approach trail. And we still want to try and go about four more miles today, and it's exactly six o'clock p.m. So um, the sun's supposed to set, I think, around eight. So I might have another two hours of daylight. I'll try and make the most of that. See if I can get four more miles, which should be mainly downhill, so I think I can do it. Well, I've gone 9.4 miles so far. Um, I'm just about a mile past Springer Mountain. And I came to this parking lot. It's actually just a dirt road that comes out here. It's a U.S. Forest Service dirt road. But you can park here and hike on these trails, I guess, from, from right here, I guess. And it, it's um, there's a little signboard that has um, some maps on it, but that's about it. There's nothing else here. And the trail for me goes right up that way. So I'm off to cover a couple more miles before, before bedtime. Here I am with my new friends at Stover Creek Shelter. This is the end of the day. Um, sun's going down right now. It's starting to get dark. And we're all just sitting around chatting and hanging out. Um, you can see there's a bunch of tents over there. There's a wire over there. People got some of their food hit bags hanging up. And the shelter's pretty big and there's actually room in it. So I found room to put my sleeping bag in there. So it's supposed to rain tonight. So it's going to be good to be under shelter tonight. And yeah, there's a decent number of people here. They also have a box there to keep the food from the bears. And that's it. So today I did something like 11 miles and hopefully tomorrow, I think about 13, I'll get an earlier start. This is your first day? This is my first day. That's day one on the Appalachian Trail.